Monarch Mania, an international migrant. Monarchs from east of the Rocky Mountains in the United States and southern Canada travel as much as 2,500 miles in an annual migration from their summer habitat to their overwintering grounds in Mexico. Many other butterfly species migrate, but monarchs are the only butterfly species with a regular, predictable, round-trip migration. The monarchs from the eastern North American population spend the winter in Oyamel fir forests at high altitudes in the mountains of central Mexico where they form dense clusters on the trees. Upon reaching the overwintering sites, the monarch's metabolism slows down, suspending their activities until environmental conditions improve. On sunny days, they may leave the trees to collect nectar and obtain minerals from moist soil. The spring migration from the mountains to eastern North America is completed over the course of two generations of monarchs. They move northward as milkweeds start growing on the migratory route. These monarchs live a few weeks, with the females laying eggs along the way. The return trip to Mexico is composed of monarchs from the last generation of the year. They fly the entire route to Mexico. They are biologically and behaviorally different from the other monarchs that developed in spring and summer. They live for about eight to nine months. Unlike the monarchs that develop in spring and summer and can reproduce about four to six days after emerging, the last generation of adult monarchs each year does not have fully developed reproductive organs, an energy-saving feature. This generation of monarchs feeds voraciously on nectar and builds up fat reserves. They benefit by feeding on nectar, if available, along the migratory route to save the fat reserves for winter survival. It has been shown that decreasing day length, cooler night temperatures, and decreasing milkweed plant quality lead them to start migration in the fall. They have never been on this journey before. How do they navigate? Experiments have shown that ultraviolet light, an internal time-compensated sun compass and possibly other factors like mountain ranges or bodies of water may all play a role in navigation. The trip to Mexico takes two to three months. Monarchs will not fly when weather conditions are unfavorable. There are also monarchs in western North America, mainly south and west of the Rocky Mountains and into southwestern Canada. Most of these western monarchs migrate to eucalyptus, Monterey cypress, Monterey pine, and other trees growing in groves along the Pacific Ocean from Southern California to Baja, Mexico. A few go to the locations in Central Mexico where the majority of Eastern North American monarchs overwinter. Some monarchs also overwinter in Southern Florida and along the Gulf Coast. All overwintering destinations for monarchs are cool and moist. The monarchs become inactive and must survive the winter on their stored fat. Why do monarchs migrate? Some scientists believe that monarchs originated in the tropics and moved north each spring to find more milkweed plants. They have not evolved ways to survive the harsh winters in eastern North America, so they return to more favorable areas to wait until milkweed is available again. Monarchs that live on tropical islands and other places where it's warm year-round do not migrate and seem to be able to reproduce all year. Tagging programs help scientists study migrating monarchs. Such programs led to the discovery of the overwintering sites in Mexico in 1975.